Hello guys, today I want to introduce you or in fact reintroduce you to Laravel Scout from Laravel ecosystem to perform full text search. And it is kind of reintroduced into the community with Laravel 9 because now it supports database driver. So first what it is and how it works. So for example, you have a table of data and you want to perform the search by multiple fields like username or email. For example, you search for Mr. and you have this result. Of course, it's a very simplified example based on the table of only a few users. And by the way, this design comes from our Lara starters package where you can create a new Laravel project and choose one of nine, I think, designs at the moment. So you can check that out. It's free. And one sample page out of that design is the list of users. And I added a search here. So how we would do it without any package would be something like this. So we perform a query and then when the request search is present, then we do where field like or where another field like. And then we paginate or we get something like this. With Laravel Scout, you can index all your data into some external driver kind of database and more popular drivers back in the days were Elasticsearch Algolia, which is a paid tool. Well, it is free up to some, I think, 100,000 records or something. So for small database, it's free. Then there's a newcomer on the scene called Mealy Search, which is free and now really advertised in Laravel community. But for any of those, you need to set up the external tool, the external server on your local machine, then on your staging server and on your production server and configure everything. And also take care of importing your data into the scout, into that search engine. So it's quite a lot of work. That's why in Laravel 9, it's great that they introduced the database driver, which would search inside of your database. Let me show you how it works, because this code may be much shorter. So if we go through Laravel Scout documentation, the installation is the same, whatever driver you use, Algolio, Elasticsearch, database, or whatever, you do Compose Require Scout, you publish the config, and then you add searchable trait to your model, in my case, it's a user model here. I've added searchable here and searchable here on top. So that is irrelevant what driver you use. And then if you want to use database, then you scroll down specifically to the database driver, which is this database or collection engines. Collection is another separate topic and I haven't used that much actually, but let's cover database engine here. And for now it supports MySQL and PostgreSQL. And what it would do actually is perform where like clauses on all the fields that you specify. To use that in your .env file, you should do like this as I've added scout driver database, or you can configure that in config scout. So config scout driver is by default Algolia, but you can change that to database here. And then according to the documentation, you need to configure your searchable data. So if you go here, configure searchable data in your model, you need to define the array, what fields to search for. And this is pretty tricky. And in the documentation, it doesn't really show the example. So if you just copy this, it wouldn't work. And there's no array to specify what fields, for example, you want to search for name and email. The correct solution that worked for me is in the model define two searchable array like this. It's similar to API resources in a way. So you define that your name would be this value, your email would be this value. So it wouldn't search by ID, timestamps or whatever other fields, only by name and email. And then in your controller or wherever you perform that query, you can replace this all the when, all the query with just one line of user search. So let's comment this out. And now if we refresh our page without any search, it will show all the users. And let's see the database query that is executed. I've installed debug bar just for that. And in addition to the logged in user, we have select from users without any where condition, without any like. But if we add, for example, letter A here and we search, or in fact, let's make it AR, for example. So it would be visually seen that it's not all the records. So five records filtered, AR for this, for example, or AR here, and look at the query. Select from users where name like AR or email like AR. So exactly those fields that we specified in the model here to searchable array. Now, what if we remove that email from here, for example, right? Let's remove, let's refresh the page. 
and see the query has been changed to only search by name, therefore only two records found. So basically, if you want to perform search on multiple fields in your model, you use Laravel Scout with database engine, specify what fields to search for, and then in your controller, the code would be as simple as this. Now, important thing, it doesn't work well with relationships. At least I didn't manage to make it work with relationships. So if you search for one model and the columns, the values of that model, it works well. But as soon as you introduce relationship, for example, if you want to show users with their country and belongs to relationship to a country. So in your index blade, you would have something like this. The problem becomes that search doesn't work with eager loading, for example. So if you add user with company here and you refresh the page, you would get an error that search doesn't work on query builder because that user with transforms the eloquent model into query builder and search should be performed on the model itself. And while browsing through the Laravel Scout documentation, I haven't found any evidence of relationships working especially with the database engine. If you have any tips on that, please go to the comment section and add a comment if you know how to make the Scout work with relationships. That's it, a quick tip for database search in Laravel Scout in Laravel 9. And if you want to support my mission of shooting these daily videos like this one with Laravel Scout, one way of supporting me is buying my book. Recently, I've launched and published a new book in collaboration with another co-author, Bilal Haidar, about the bad practices that I've learned and seen in other people's code and in my own code as well in the past while shooting many hundreds of videos on this channel. So you can check out the book at laraveldaily.gumroad.com. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.